Hello guys, this is Sir EJ and welcome again for another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing how to find the nature of the roots and the discriminant of a quadratic equation. These are the following objectives we need to attain for today's topic. Letter A, characterize the roots of a quadratic equation using discriminant. Letter B, solve for the value of the discriminant. And letter C, value accumulated knowledge as means of new understanding. Now let us discuss the nature of roots of quadratic equation. So nature refers to the types of numbers the roots can be. So in a nature of roots of quadratic equation, there are three types of number. The first one is the imaginary roots or no solutions. In here, uh, we cannot compute for the roots. We have imaginary roots. Where in, when we say imaginary roots, there is a negative number inside the radical sign. The next one is called equal roots or one solution. In here, the two roots have the same value, therefore they are equal with each other and we have only one solution for that quadratic equation. And the last one is called unequal roots or distinct solution. So in solving for the roots of quadratic equation, we have unequal roots or distinct solution, therefore we have two roots for that quadratic equation. And we can solve or we can identify if the quadratic equation is imaginary, equal, or unequal roots using the formula of the discriminant b squared minus 4ac. The formula of our discriminant came from the quadratic formula. So the radicant of our quadratic formula is the formula of the discriminant. So therefore, we will be using the formula of the discriminant b squared minus 4ac. So let's have our first case. If b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, if the value of our discriminant is equal to 0, then ang roots daw niya ay real, equal, at rational. Let's have our explanation. So sabi dito, if b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, we have the following equation. Using the quadratic formula, we have substitute the value of our discriminant on our quadratic formula. So we have x is equal to negative b, positive for the first root, square root of 0 for the value of b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a. And then for the second root, we have negative b, this time minus square root of the value of our discriminant, b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0 again, all over 2a. Then once we have simplified this, square root of 0 is just equal to 0, so ang matitira na lang dito ay negative b over 2a. Same goes dito, we have negative b over 2a. So therefore, the two roots is equal to negative b over 2a and negative b over 2a. So the roots are real, equal, and rational if the value of the discriminant is equal to 0. Let's have an example for our first case. So we have a given quadratic equation 9r squared plus 12r plus 4 is equal to 0. Then we have compute or we have identified the roots of this quadratic equation. So for the first root, we have negative 2 thirds, and for our second root, we have negative 2 thirds. So both roots are the same. So let's check using the discriminant. So first, we need to identify the numerical coefficient of each term of the quadratic equation. The value of a is equal to 9, the value of b is equal to 12, and the value of c is equal to 4. And then after that, we will be substituting these values on the formula of our discriminant. So we have d is equal to b squared minus 4ac. Then d will be equal to the value of b is equal to 12 raised to the second power 
minus bring down 4, then the value of A is equal to 9 times the value of C is equal to 4. Then we will simplify. D will be equal to 12 times 12 is equal to 144. Then negative 4 times 9 times 4 is equal to negative 144. Then subtracting these two numbers, 144 minus 144 is equal to 0. So therefore, the nature of the roots, since the value of the discriminant is equal to 0, then the roots are real, equal, and rational. Let's have case number 2. Sabi dito, if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, and also a perfect square, then the roots are real, distinct, and rational. So let's have our explanation. We will let b squared minus 4ac is equal to 16. So makita nyo naman yung 16 ay perfect square. Kasi 4 times 4 is equal to 16. No? Now we will plug b squared minus 4ac is equal to 16 in the quadratic formula. So pag compute natin ng roots, we have negative b positive square root of the value of our discriminant b squared minus 4ac is equal to 16 all over 2a. Sa kabila, negative b, this time minus, square root of, again, the value of b squared minus 4ac is equal to 16, all over 2a. Then, si simplify natin. So, we have negative b, then square root of 16 will be equal to positive 4, all over 2a. Then, sa kabila, square root of 16, again, is 4, but this time, magiging negative yung sign dito. So, we have two roots. Uh, so, first one, negative b plus 4 all over 2a, and the other one is negative b minus 4 all over 2a. So, the value of our discriminant is equal to 16, and it is a perfect square. Hence, the roots are real, unequal, distinct, and rational. So, let's have an example. So, we have a quadratic equation, x squared minus 1 is equal to 0, wherein the two roots are already given, which is... 1 and negative 1. So let's check for its discriminant. So first, we need to identify the numerical coefficients of the quadratic term. So the numerical coefficient of x squared is equal to 1. The numerical coefficient of the linear term is equal to 0 because there is no linear term. And the numerical coefficient of our constant term obviously is equal to negative 1. We will be using the formula of the discriminant b squared minus 4ac. And then we will be substituting the corresponding value. So d is equal to 0 raised to the second power since b is equal to 0 minus bring down 4 times the value of a is equal to 1 times the value of c is equal to negative 1. We will simplify. So bring down d. 0 to the second power is equal to 0. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 1 is equal to positive 4. And then 0 plus 4 is equal to 4. So since the value of the discriminant is positive or greater than 0, and at the same time, it is a perfect square, then we can say that the roots are real, distinct, magkaiba siya, and also rational. Let's have our next example. So we have a given quadratic equation, the quantity x plus 3 raised to the second power is equal to 100. So the first step we need to do is we need to transform this equation into standard form. So we will expand this equation. So expanding the equation, we have the standard form x squared plus 6x minus 91 is equal to 0. After that, we will be identifying the numerical coefficient of each term. So the numerical coefficient of our quadratic term is equal to 1. The numerical coefficient of our linear term is equal to 6. And the numerical coefficient of our constant term is equal to negative 91. And then after that, we will be using the formula of our discriminant. So given na yung roots natin dito, ang roots na given ay 7 and negative 13. So let's check if the nature of the roots is correct. Using the formula of the discriminant, d is equal to b squared minus 4ac. We will be substituting the corresponding value. So the value of b is equal to 6 raised to the second power minus 4 
times the value of A is equal to 1 times the value of C which is equal to negative 91. So bring down D is equal to 6 to the second power. 6 times 6 is equal to 36. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times negative 91 is equal to positive 364. And then adding this to number 36 because 364 is equal to 400. Since the value of our discriminant is positive or greater than 0, and also 400 is a perfect square, 20 times 20, then the roots are real, distinct, and rational. So let's have our next case. If b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, but this time it is not a perfect square. Then, sabi dito, kapag ganun daw yung case natin, the roots are real, distinct, and irrational. So let's have an explanation. So for example, uh, let b squared minus 4ac is equal to 21. You can see here that 21 is not a perfect square. Now we will plug the values of our discriminant, which is equal to 21. So negative b plus square root of 21 all over 2a, and we have negative b minus square root of 21 all over 2a. So yung square root of 21 natin dito ay irrational number. So hindi siya perfect square. So therefore, kung ganun daw yung case natin, if the discriminant ay greater than 0, and hindi daw siya perfect square, hence yung roots na makukuha natin ay real, unequal, or distinct. Ibig sabihin magkaiba siya, and also irrational. Let's have an example. So we have a given quadratic equation x squared plus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. Given na din yung mga roots niya, ang roots na nakuha ay negative 2 plus square root of 3 and negative 2 minus square root of 3. So let's check the discriminant. So first we need to identify the value of the numerical coefficient of each term of the quadratic equation. The numerical coefficient of x squared is equal to 1. The numerical coefficient of 4x is equal to 4, and the numerical coefficient of our constant term is equal to 1. We will be using the formula of our discriminant, d is equal to b squared minus 4ac. Substituting the corresponding value, so bring down d is equal to, the value of b is equal to 4 raised to the second power minus bring down 4 times the value of a is equal to 1, times the value of c, which is equal to 1. We will simplify. 4 to the second power is equal to 16. We have negative 4 times 1 times 1 is equal to negative 4. And then 16 minus 4 is equal to 12. So if the value of the discriminant is positive or greater than 0 and not a perfect square, so we can see here that 12 is not a perfect square, then the roots are real, distinct, and irrational. So, real number siya, distinct, magkaiba, irrational, merong square root, hindi natin pwedeng masimplify. So, ito yung kalalabasan niya using the discriminant. Let's have our next example. So, we have a given quadratic equation, 4m squared minus 12m is equal to 3. So, ito na yung mga roots na nakuha. So, we have 3 over 2 plus square root of 3, then m is equal to 3 over 2 minus square root of 3. So let's get the value of the discriminant. So this is the standard form of our quadratic equation. We need to identify the coefficients. The value of a is equal to 4. The value of b is equal to negative 12. And the value of c is equal to negative 3. And then after that, we will be using the formula of the discriminant. d is equal to b squared minus 4ac. Then, we will substitute the corresponding value. D will be equal to the value of B is equal to negative 12 raised to the second power minus bring down 4 times the value of A is equal to 4 times C is equal to negative 3. Then, negative 12 raised to the second power is equal to 144. Negative 4 times 4 is negative 16. Negative 16 times negative 3 is equal to positive 48. Adding these two numbers, 144 plus 48 is equal to 192. Since 192 is greater than 0 or a positive number, and it is not a perfect square, 192 is not a perfect square, then the roots are real, distinct, 
and irrational. Next, let's have case number 4. Sabi dito, if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, then ang makukuha daw nating roots ay imaginary. For example, let b squared minus 4ac is equal to negative 6. So, negative 6 is less than 0. Now, plug the value of our discriminant which is equal to negative 6 in the quadratic formula. So, we have negative b plus square root of negative 6 all over 2a. Sa kabila, negative b, this time magiging negative to, square root of negative 6 all over 2a. So, yung square root of negative 6 natin ay imaginary. So, therefore, ang sabi dito, if the discriminant is less than 0, any negative numbers, then yung makukuha nating roots ay unreal and imaginary. No solution kapag negative or mababa sa 0 ang makukuha mong discriminant. Let's have an example. So, we have a given quadratic equation, y squared is equal to negative 5. So, ang makukuha nating roots dito ay positive negative square root of 5 imaginary. Uh, transform this into standard form, negative 5, transpose it will become positive 5. So, ang standard form natin ay y squared plus 5 equals 0. Identify natin yung ating mga numerical coefficient. Ang value ng a equals 1, ang value ng b ay equal to 0, and then the value of c is equal to 5. Let's use the formula of the discriminant. D is equal to b squared minus 4ac. Substitute natin yung corresponding value. So b will be equal to 0 raised to the second power minus bring down 4 times the value of a is equal to 1 times the value of c which is equal to 5. 0 to the second power is just equal to 0. Negative 4 times 1 times 5 is equal to negative 20. And then 0 minus 20 is equal to negative 20. So the value of our discriminant here is a negative number. This is less than 0. Therefore, the roots are unreal or imaginary. So dito pa lang, pag na-compute mo yung discriminant, nakita mong negative, malalaman mo na na magiging roots mo ay unreal or imaginary without computing the roots of the quadratic equation. So, sa discriminant pa lang, malalaman mo na kung ano yung nature ng roots ng quadratic equation. Let's have our last example. So, we have here 3p squared minus 5p plus 4 is equal to 0. So, solving this using the quadratic formula, ito yung makuha nating mga roots. 5 positive negative square root of 23 imaginary all over 6. So, tingnan natin. Now, let's check the discriminant. So, identify natin yung mga numerical coefficient ng each term. So, value ng a ay equal sa 3. Yung value ng b is equal to negative 5. And then, the value of c is equal to 4. Let's substitute the corresponding value with our formula ng discriminant. So, d is equal to b squared minus 4ac. Substituting the corresponding value. So, ang value ng b ay negative 5 raised to the second power minus bring down 4 times the value of a is equal to 3 times the value of c which is equal to positive 4. Simplifying this, so negative 5 times negative 5 is equal to positive 25. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Negative 12 times 4 is equal to negative 48. 25 minus 48 is equal to negative 23. So ang value ng discriminant natin ay less than 0 negative number shot. So, dito pa lang malalaman natin na ang mga kukompute nating roots ay unreal or imaginary. So, to sum up our lesson about the nature of roots of a quadratic equation, if the value of the discriminant is equal to 0, then ang sabi dito, yung makukuha nating roots ay real, equal, ibig sabihin, isa lang yung makukuha nating roots kasi magkaparehas siya, and also it is rational. Kapag naman ang discriminant natin ay greater than 0, meaning to say positive number siya, and also it is a perfect square, then yung roots natin na makukuha ay real, distinct, ibig sabihin magkaiba, at the same time rational. Then kapag naman ang discriminant natin ay greater than 0, tapos hindi siya perfect square, ang roots na makukuha natin ay real, distinct, and at the same time irrational. And for the last one, if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, or a negative number, then the roots are imaginary. So wala tayong makukuha ang solution dito. Zero solution, or no solution.